Today on Behind the Sanctuary, it's moving day as Kamau and Kadira make their way from the Big Cat Sanctuary back to Paradise Wildlife Park and into their new home, Jaguar Jungle. But in order to do so, over the course of the last few weeks, the Keeper team down at the Sanctuary have actually been crate training the Jaguars and here is how they got on. So we're just doing a bit of crate training to desensitise both Kamal and Kadira to their travel crates. Um, so by doing this every single day, you just get some use to the process. Uh, they're always being treated with nice things for being in the box, and Kadira is uh, more advanced in that she's very comfortable being fully enclosed, whereas Kamal's just a little bit more sensitive to things, uh, but he's, he's always been that way ever since we've known him. Um, so it's just a bit of a slower process with him. So we're just taking things in the slower stages. Um, but as you can see, she's doing perfectly fine. And so I'm very confident that we'll be able to get both uh, on the day. Crate training sessions are going really well. Uh, we are doing it every single day to make sure that it's nice and consistent and the cats are used to the process so that in theory on the day, it's totally routine and they are not gonna be suspicious. They're both very keen to come in because coming in means that they get food chunks. Kamal's a little bit shy, a little bit nervous and aware of noises. Um, so we have fully closed them in the box a couple of times, but um, he's not been super comfortable yet. So we've taken a step back and just shutting him in with a lighter door. Um, which he's, he is comfortable with and we'll kind of build build on that build up with just a little bit of noise around the box and then work back towards the solid door um, closing him in and I'm very confident we'll get him on the day. Kadira really doesn't care actually trying to get her back out of the box is the hardest bit because she so far the longest she's sat in there after her session has been half an hour. Um, she, she likes to just make us wait um, so we're just currently trying to get her back out of the crate so that we can make it safe uh, ready for us to um, try again tomorrow. Come on, good boy, come on. Big brave steps. day just a little bit of like movement on the box not through the doors just movement on the box just to kind of get him comfortable with noise again So we're just trying to make noise, it's good to talk. I'm just kind of like rubbing my feet on the box just so there's, there is noise. But yeah, he does come straight back.
So today's session with Kamal was a lot better. He was much more comfortable in the crate while there were lots of loud noises. And we were even starting to introduce him um, to the door that was on the more quiet side, so it's less scary for him. Um, you would have seen him darting in and out, but of course he still came back for the treats, which is a really, really good sign. Typically, once we'd given Kamal all of his food, he decided to finally let us shut him in properly with that light slider. And he was pretty comfortable in there for a fair few seconds. So of course we let him out again as a nice big reward. And hopefully that continues the trend of him doing really, really well. and We can have a lot of success on the day. Easy. Can you? Good boy. Come on, then, mate. Come on. Up again, let's let him out if he wants it. Good man. He was good then, you know. Good, He yeah. didn't even know that it was closed. I think as long as he knows that he can go straight back out, that's the main thing. To be fair, when he, when he realises that he's shutting, he comes back for food. <laughs> or I can shut him in, shut him in. Yeah, I can shut him in now. And even if he realises he's shutting, he'll just come back for food. Good boy. Come on. Come on. What's this? Good man. Isn't that bad? So we're two days away now from the move. We're doing two sessions a day just to get these guys ready. Kadira, we've got no issues with at all. She's just so bomb-proof. Kamal's still a little bit hesitant. So what we're doing is just getting him used to being shut in with a lighter door. He's slowly, slowly getting his confidence up with that solid door coming down. Um, we are introducing more people kind of watching the sessions. So he's used to that. And um, also having the van backed right up to the house as well, because that's going to be a thing on the day. So today's session, the atmosphere was actually a little bit more nervous from both Kamal and Kadira. So they could have actually been picking up on our nerves. It's the day before the big move and we of course want everything to be going smoothly. Kamal actually took about five minutes or so to come into the crate initially, but we did also introduce a large group of people just outside the windows in his eye line. So there could have been a few contributing factors to why both Kamal and Kadira didn't want to come in. However, they did end up coming into the crates and settling with some nice treats at the end of it. So we ended on a really positive note and hopefully that carries in to tomorrow morning as well. When he's fully in, I'm going to just gradually, gradually lower this, just not even all the way, just bits, just so he's used to it being lower. Come on, come on in. Come on. I reckon go for it. Nice. Yeah, 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 keep going. 
Good boy, Kamal. What's this? Good boy. Uh, let me get him with some food. I think he's just processing. Let me give him some rewards. Come on. Good boy. Yeah, maybe slowly with the heavy now. You're okay. Good boy. Come on. Come on. What's this? Good man. Come on. Yeah, I think let him out. And then just let's see if he'll come back and then just let him come and go. Good boy. That's it. He's come back in. Good. Which is good. So that was the final training session before the big day tomorrow. Uh, he was better than he was this morning. Um, we kind of worked out what we're going to do, try and get him nice and relaxed and focused on, on large amounts of food whilst the green door goes down. Get him nice and calm and focus on food again and then we'll slowly lower that solid door and then lock him in. It's great to see that the Jaguars Kamal Kadir have been so receptive to the crate training. And now that it is moving day, it's time for us to head down to the sanctuary collect them and bring them back to their home. We're going to be trying Kumar first, uh, just like we have done in training, because he's far more cautious and more suspicious than Kadira is. So once he's in the crate, we'll move him out, move him away from the house, and then we'll try Kadira, and she's a little bit more bomb-proof, so we think she'll be more likely to go in first time. So we've got Kamal in the crate, he's loaded up into the van very successfully, it went really well, really smoothly and now we're keeping all fingers crossed that Kadira is going to be as easy as it has been recently with her training but of course there's been a lot of change with today. She's also seen Kamal be loaded into the van in the crate, she's had all of our colleagues from Paradise Wildlife Park down as well so there's new faces, there's new uniforms and of course she's had our maintenance team helping us lift so there's actually a lot riding um, on trying to get her in this crate and hopefully she's as confident and she's as bomb proof as she has been for the last few weeks. really talk about the differences you can see in animal personalities where Kamal was a bit nervous and a bit hesitant to go into the crate, Kadira she roasted the occasion, she came straight in and pretty much ran straight into the crate. Fantastic. Now both of them are loaded, it's time to head to paradise and introduce them to their new home. So those guys were absolutely amazing, that all went so much better than we even hoped. So um, they're both in their crates, they're both loaded up into the vans, they are ready to go and be welcomed into their new home at paradise. We've arrived at Paradise Wildlife Park. It was a nice smooth journey. The keepers are just doing some last checks on the enclosure that the Jags are gonna be unloaded into, and then we're gonna be ready to back up and start unloading them. Okay, so we've got Kadira unloaded and now in position. Now we're all just gonna clear out the exhibit and hopefully she's gonna go into the Osho dens. All right, basically, hopefully she'll come straight into the tunnel and I'm just going to go around the house. Dan's following, yeah? Hello, sweetie. <laughs> Coming in. So 
who just lifted the door to the crate. And amazingly, Kadira has come straight out. She even ignored Ian, who was holding up food for her. Yeah. And she's gone straight into the offshore yeah. dens. That couldn't have gone more smoothly, even if we hoped for it. It was fantastic. Now, we just hope Kamal will do the same. All right, now we have Kamal unloaded from the van, in position, and now we're just keeping our fingers crossed that he comes out the crate as quickly as Kadira did. But he is a lot more nervous and a lot more feisty in the crate. When you're ready. So true to form, uh, Kadira was very, very confident, far more confident than Kamal, and he's still in his crate being very, very cautious about everything. That's totally fine, that's how they normally are. What we've done is hitch up the crate so it's nice and secure. We've left it open so he can just come out in his own time and join Kadira. So we're gonna leave them now, come away, leave them nice and quiet, and he can come out when he likes. As you can see behind me, Kamal and Kadira are settling in fantastically here at the zoo. They've been taking in their new habitat, the Onsho Den, they've been exploring the platforms up high, and they've also been exploring the separation pen as well. In fact, Kadira is currently relaxing in the back of her cave out there. And over the next couple of days, they're gonna be released into their main habitat as well, but they couldn't have settled in better if we could have hoped for it. It's been amazing. <laughs> 